So, uh, close up here. Uh, I really gotta see these holes. Uh, you can just see them, I think. So, see how these little holes go across? Now my needle will go through. A lot easier. So, gotta make sure if I when I start sewing, I gotta make sure that. So note, cedar works well as a backboard. Your uh, puncher goes right through the cedar, nice and easy, and uh, it went really well. It went pretty, pretty fast. Really, is easy to see the hole on one side. see I've got about twice the length of the area to cover or yeah, roughly twice the length hopefully with all this zigging and zagging that should be enough hopefully Ready. Right. I'm almost ready to tie this off. If I can just get this one through the other hole, a little tight. both on the inside now. I gotta do is tie them off. doing but I'm just tying off knots hopefully that's 
good enough. There. Drum roll. I'm gonna flip it over and we'll see what it looks like. Let's get in camera. That is our first seam. Let's push this in here. There you go. Well, it's sewn. It seems solid enough, I guess. Like I said, this is our learning bag, rucksack one. We'll sew it the best we can, and we'll see how long it lasts. I'll get started on the other one. Well, here it is. Well, obviously not done, but I just finished doing the uh, doing the seams. It's a little bigger than I was envisioning, though it did turn out exactly the dimensions that I had uh, measured, but I guess even with our car uh, the cardboard cutout, it's kind of hard to, <laughs> this thing's huge. So I'm also planning on kind of finishing the top, the, the, the front with a couple of pockets, which is gonna make it even more massive. Uh, I would like it to be a little bit smaller, but we'll see if we can get some straps. I guess I'll, I'll see if I can get some straps on the sides and maybe get it to be able to kind of tighten from the back to the front, kind of tuck it in. So if I have less stuff in the bag, just to make it look more compact uh, so the stuff doesn't uh, float around there. But. Not too bad for my first seams. I mean, you see that they're crooked, based, uh, and that's and that I figured out as I went along that um, the holes need to be perfectly spaced. So the fact that I put holes on one side, uh, yeah, I, I did all the holes on one side first, and then the holes on the other side, and then like they didn't match up. So as they don't match up, and the and the string tightens up, then it does this wavy line which is fine for me I don't care it seems pretty tough it doesn't seem like it's gonna go anywhere so that's it's good right, so phase one phase two uh, we'll start working on the straps for the back and uh, some pockets I have to curl this rim down get that uh, glued and uh, possibly sewn. I also want to get the holes all around the side so we can get a, uh, a string, a leather string, so I can tie that nice and taut. Top, that'll bring the whole shape in more solid. And I'd like a pouch, at least, at least one pouch in the front, maybe a couple on the sides. I'll go on to phase two.